This is a disease that historically had been thought to be part of the spectrum of multiple sclerosis, but really work led by Vanda Lennon and Brian Weinschenker helped us understand that this was a disease involving the, auto, the immune system and it involved an antibody targeting a particular protein in a particular cell and the protein is aquaporin-4 and the cell is an astrocyte. So it's an autoimmune mediated disorder affecting the function of astrocytes in the central nervous system. And um, it coincides with, that work coincided with work I did on the pathology of NMO, which suggested that this was an antibody disease mediating damage to this particular part of the brain. And in terms of this particular damage, it results in a spectrum of symptoms. We know it's kind of the tip of the iceberg are the eye and the spinal cord findings, optic neuritis and myelitis. However, with the discovery of this antibody and the antigen it targets, aquaporin-4, it's really opened up our eyes to a much broader spectrum of symptoms. So these patients present with relapses or attacks. Uh, these attacks can involve, yes, the optic nerve, their vision, or their motor function, the spinal cord myelitis, but they can also present with intractable nausea and vomiting and a spectrum of other findings, which we're learning more about each day. I think for patients with NMO, they, they need to be on medication that quiets or suppresses their immune system in order to keep these attacks at bay because these attacks can be severe, quite devastating. So really the, the game changer in this disease is finding therapies that prevent the attacks since that's really the central way that damage, disability occurs in this disease. Nerve, the research I've done would suggest that this is a global astrocytic disease, meaning all astrocytes are involved. It just depends where they happen to be living. And based on that, that renders whether they're more or less susceptible to damage. So the optic nerve, like the spinal cord, is a confined, constrained environment. And the antibody targets this water channel protein, aquaporin-4. So if you have a confined compartment, like the optic nerve or the spinal cord, that doesn't handle water or edema well. So in reality, those are the first sites to have perhaps clinical manifestations because of the secondary effects of swelling. But the reality is that um, the symptoms are much broader than just the optic nerve and spinal cord.